Hi folks, this is a tutorial from 24-7 Electric LLC out of Piscataway, New Jersey. Um, today we're going to talk about the installation and repair of three-way switches. Um, I know a lot of folks have trouble when it comes to installing them or troubleshooting them, but um, in reality it's really not that complicated providing you the right tools and the right knowledge. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you an old switch and I'm going to show you a new switch. Um, this way you can kind of see um, the older switches obviously have different markings and then the newer switches, uh, the newer switches are much better in the marking. Um, so we'll go through both of them. But first I'm going to show you the, uh, the newer switch. Um, if you turn it over, you'll see that uh, on there it's marked common. Okay, you always want to look for that common. Um, if you don't see it marked, you can look at the black screw. The black screw designates that that's common. Um, sometimes you'll find though on an older switch that somebody dropped the screw and they just put in a silver or a gold screw, so therefore you won't be able to uh, tell by the color. You'll have to look here. Okay. In the event that you can't tell by the color, you get confused. Um, you can always use a multimeter. Okay. Um, I'm using a Fluke. Uh, this is about $100. You can get one down at the hardware store probably for about $20, or even Sears sells them. So um, if you use one of these, you can definitely uh, help determine what is the common. And uh, these two up here are called the travelers. Uh, we'll discuss that a little further on. But just know that the travelers is a pair there, and they're the gold screws. Okay. So I'm going to show you here. Here's a great example. This switch is so old that it's not marked. Uh, common, okay. You know, we do have the, the black screw here. I just want to show you just so that you have an idea of what to do. Okay, so you want to put your meter on ohms, okay, and when you uh, touch them together, you should get some sort of noise uh, continuity checker, okay. That's fine. You're going to put one on the common, okay, and you're going to kind of see how this operation works a little bit, and one on the gold screw, okay. And what that's going to do is when I flip this switch down, that's that's going to come on. Okay, so that means right now that this screw has continuity with this. So essentially, they're one right now. Okay, and once I flip this switch up, this is going to go dead, and now the left side is going to be live. Okay, see that? So now essentially, again, this is basically one piece here. So all you're doing is going when you're flipping the switch, you're coming off of here to here. So you just flip-flopping back and forth. These screws will always be common to here, but depending on where this uh, switch is sitting is where it will be. Okay? So that kind of gives you an idea of uh, in case you don't have a marking. Okay? Now I have a little board here. Um, of course, obviously it's uh, not real world right now, so it's nice and easy to see. Um, you know, you have uh, all the colors. Uh, this would be typical of a new installation. You know, you have your uh, red, black, white, you know, ground, and then you have your other wire here. I know in the real world, lots of times they don't use a red. They'll use, uh, they'll have a black, or they'll tape something, or use white, whatever, whatever the case may be. I am going to show you later on in the video how to decipher um, which ones are the travelers and which ones are the uh, the commons, okay? So we will later on also provide a little diagram so that you can kind of see what exactly the travelers are and what they're doing, okay? Um, as I explained before, they're just flip-flopping back and forth. So um, as long as you know the travelers go together, it's just a pair of wires that go together. That's all, okay? Um, this completes uh, part of our tutorial for part one. I'll see you later on in part two.